contains not just a single kind of entity. I feel like there are so many elements. I wasn't taken seriously being a woman with chronic pain. It took four years, four years to be diagnosed from the time that I started asking questions about what was going on, um, yeah, to the time that they actually found the problem. I think the fact that I probably don't like to make a fuss a lot of the time did contribute to the fact that it was harder to get a diagnosis. Chronic pain can be invisible. Even though we look fine, we're dealing within ourselves and we're trying to hide the pain, we're masking the pain, just so we can try and live a normal life. It's certainly been a struggle for me to meet kind of my goals a lot of times because the pain is so random. I have had to cut back work, um, I've had to cut back on the school as well. Productivity is a constant battle. Messed with my identity, I was a bit like, well, who am I now? How am I going to earn enough money to pay my rent? Even talking about it now makes me a bit sad. People with chronic pain need a toolkit. Not everything works all of the time, you know, and sometimes, you know, it might sound strange to people who use cannabis recreationally, for example, but I just want to work. Having to cut back on my care I was giving to my children made me feel useless, incompetent and very frustrated. One of the things which is really important is support in the workplace. You know, we look fine but we're not fine. Friendships and relationships, are, there's always a natural strain on that. I sort of become more of a homebody and withdrawn from friendships and doing things I would usually do. When I've been feeling physically unwell um, or in pain, I then become fearful. I want to avoid things, feel safer to stay at home. I remember um, sitting with my mum one night after I had my second spinal surgery. I said to her, how's anyone gonna love me like this? I was 15 when I had my head injury. And I remember saying to my mum, I wish I had a bandage around my head and then people would know there's something wrong with me because I look fine. When I'm not getting the proper support, uh, I feel like a loser. If there was a cure for my pain, the first thing I would do is head to the beach. That would make me feel very free and I'd be able to join in with my kids. To live a normal life. I don't need to climb Mount Everest, but I just want to do the normal things. But feeling better. I want to make a real change in the world with my career and with the skills that I have. Probably just do all the things I normally do for like a week or two or three, just without pain and just enjoy that for what it is. And then I get to work. We don't need your opinion on our pain. We don't need you to tell us how to fix it unless you are treating us. We don't need you to tell us how to live it, how to experience it or what to do with it. We just need you to love us.